Hey crew, Mark Hadmaker here. I'm going to give you a small little solo exercise that you can uh, use. It's, a, it's, it's kind of a, well, I'll give you three versions of something. Uh, it's th three unlettered exercises. Uh, one of them has a very, very sport specific aspect for uh, my ground fighters out there. Can we tilt that a little bit for me please? Uh, go down. Old school, if you want to do a little bit of pre burnout for doing your squat positions or you're, you're building up your elevators for, you know, you're working off your back, anything, uh, you know, leg extensions if you don't have the gear for it, you just don't want to use the gear for it. We've got uh, three ways to go. Uh, some of the things the old timers would do, well, and it's, I have to put on an attractive side of the camera here in just a moment, forgive that, um, would be, you know, I'll give profile first, just to come up in this position here, dig. The toe in, and lean all the way to the outside. So you primarily feel like you're loading up everything on the outside of that uh, of that quadricep. Nice slow down. So you give about maybe like two, three seconds down, two, three seconds up. And the key on this would be giving yourself like oh, let's say, depends on where if you're stout enough for it. Run yourself into slow 20 reps. And again, for what I'm saying from the outside, unattractive side through is you're not just digging toe straight down. You're really leaning and loading up to that outside position. All right. Now that in and of itself is not going to burn up heart and lungs, but I find this mighty useful whenever you do, uh, let's say, a good couple of sets of 20 on both sides, then run into your standard squats or jump squats. You can really still feel like you kind of get a pre-burn, uh, really uh, uh, light you up. Uh, conversely, you can do the exact same thing by leaning off to the inside, which I'm sure it makes sense already, head to the camera, then unattractive side. Same thing, but the difference is I lean off, so I'm really loading up more to that inside. Uh, portion of the quadriceps, again about two seconds down and two seconds up on a track to side, exact same thing, I'm leaning out here. So make sure we know the difference, I was the first one, we're moving towards the outside, and the second version, uh, we moved towards uh, the inside. Same kind of thing if you think about doing maybe slow set to 20, both legs of the outside version, slow set to 20 on the inside version, then run into your jump squats. And then run into your squats. Then see where we're going. Because sometimes it just gets boring to do like do 500 squats. You're like, God, it gets old, doesn't it? At least this way you can shake it up a little bit. But the one you may find the most useful and valuable to your grappling game would be the corkscrew uh, leg extension. Uh, it's super useful for those of us who work uh, uh, sweeps or anything off the bottom scissors or back position. Uh, give it to you in profile. If I dig in. All the work here is going to be doing with this right leg. If I dig in with this right heel, and I go ahead and get my hip off the mat, so the hip is off the whole way right here, and I start turning towards this outside, so that means this foot will roll across the outer blade of the foot. I still have the hip off the mat, I'm on the shoulder, and then I roll it all the way up into the toe position here. And there's my extension, back to the blade of the foot, back down, and I can put that hip back down. Uh, some of you might be going, well, why, where the hell would I use this? If you're doing any sort of uh, actual true underhook corkscrew sweeps or almost any of these threading sweeps that'll make sense where you're going to need is to give you this extra few inches that's going to let someone dump to the back of the head so again if you imagine this was booted in for your for your overhook and your, your hands in proper position but this that that's not what we're talking about you're not technique and tactics tack, yet but just a sports i mean a a, a a specific drill for it so again heels dug in asses up roll roll and then kick all the way up to this high position and then repeat that and turn it back all the way over and again if you're putting in a nice slowish 20 on both sides then if you grab your partner and have the hooks in and you get that nice turnover you've given them that extra you've got the strength and stability to give them that extra elevation and dumps them on their hip again for more detail super amount of detail what we're doing on that that dump I keep talking about. So take a look at a, a Black Box 6 DSP Raw uh, 219. And if not that, just try those. Burn your, get a little pre burn on your legs before you do uh, all your squats and at least make get some nice standard uh, build up on both sides. I mean, these, these sorts of things have been great to me during knee rehab. So hopefully it saves you guys from the knee, knee rehab.